Welcome to our series of films showing how we can see physics at work in the atmosphere. Brought to you by the Royal Meteorological Society, Imperial College London and the Institute of Physics Environmental Physics Group. In this film we're going to have fun making bubbles. All objects absorb and emit electromagnetic radiation. The quantity of radiation they emit increases as the body gets hotter. The type of radiation emitted also changes with temperature. The electromagnetic radiation an object emits is spread over a range of different frequencies and wavelengths. The range shifts to shorter wavelengths as the body gets hotter. So the sun emits electromagnetic radiation at much shorter wavelengths than the earth does. By detecting the range of radiation coming from a body, an infrared thermometer or camera can calculate the temperature of the body without actually touching it. It's also worth noting that objects can be reflecting radiation that's come from elsewhere at the same time as emitting their own radiation. For example, the ice at the poles looks cold through an infrared camera or thermometer, but it looks bright to the human eye. This is because it's reflecting some of the sun's light. In this demonstration, we're going to see how an infrared camera can help us understand what's going on when the very cold gas created by the sublimation of carbon dioxide in air meets warmer, moist air. Sublimation is the process when a substance goes straight from being a solid to being a gas without the normal liquid stage in between. This experiment makes use of the fact that frozen carbon dioxide sublimates when it's heated, for example when it's put in warm water. Dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. Because the gas produced when carbon dioxide sublimates is cold, it cools the air around it. All air contains water vapour, which we refer to as humidity. So as a cold carbon dioxide gas hits the air, the water vapour in the air condenses, producing a fog of liquid water droplets. In this demonstration, we're going to catch that fog in bubbles and use an infrared camera to visualise the temperature changes that are going on. For this experiment, you will need one plastic bottle, one bag of dry ice, one metre length of clear plastic tube, one bowl of washing up liquid and water mixed, and one pair of cryogenic gloves. Wearing cryogenic gloves, take a small handful of the dry ice and place it inside the bottle. After a few moments, you should start seeing a fog appear as the ice sublimates and cools the air in the bottle. Place the end of the clear plastic tube into the washing up liquid mix. Take the tube out and you should see bubbles filling up with clouds. You can now drop these clouds into your hands. Make sure you're wearing the gloves. Why do you need to wear the gloves? The grease on people's hands destroys the surface tension in the liquid and the bubbles burst. In the presenter's hand, we will see that the cloud is optically bright when looked at in the visible. However, looking through the infrared camera, we will see that the cloud is dark. These clouds are optically bright. They look very light coloured, but they're dark in the infrared because they're very cold. The dry ice has cooled the air in the bottle, which then gets trapped in the washing up liquid bubbles. Cloud both reflects the sun's light and radiates heat, that's infrared, into space. But because the cloud is colder than the Earth's surface, it loses less heat to space than the surface would do if the sky was clear. In the atmosphere, sublimation is the phase change of ice directly to water vapour, bypassing the liquid phase. This occurs over surface snow or ice or high up in the atmosphere where the air is below freezing. This process is important as the heat released by sublimation changes the dynamics at the edge of a cloud and this process can also be observed in Virga clouds. I hope you found this experiment helpful in understanding atmospheric physics. There are more simple experiments and demonstrations on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe.